I am not encouraging you in this video to use ChatGPT to write your content. That is not what this is about. I'm gonna show you how I have been using ChatGPT to help me make in-depth, meaty, SEO-optimized blog posts out of my YouTube videos. More specifically, the words that I've already said, and instead of me having to painstakingly craft my own blog post out of it, allowing ChatGPT, or you could use any other AI program, to help you organize this and outline it and just speed up your workflows. Again, I do not want you to use AI tools to write your content and contribute to just the AI duplication and slop of regurgitated content. I want you to make your own original content, but use AI to help repurpose your content as blog posts. And make sure you stay to the end because I wanna show you how Sam, a member of my community, Web Designer Pro, used this exact method to create a blog post that got him nearly instant results. So we're gonna look at that, but I wanna show you first off how to do this. So I have a YouTube video here about collecting website content, and I use what I'm about to show you to create this blog post. So I did not actually word for word write all this out. What I did is I had an outline about my big three tips on collecting website content, and I made a YouTube video, which is just over eight minutes long, and the process I'm about to show you is exactly what created this pretty meaty, in-depth, and SEO-optimized blog post. So I'm gonna recreate this for you. We're gonna take this video, and where I like to start is, I'm using YouTube, but this would be the same for Wistia or Vimeo or any video you have hosted somewhere. Go into the subtitles where you can get the captions. In this case, I'm just gonna take the automatic captions here for YouTube. I'm gonna hover over here and I'm gonna pull word for word all of the words that I said here. So you can see this is not optimized, but thanks to ChatGPT in this case, we can go in here and create an optimized blog post. Now how you prompt this is going to dictate the type of results you get. So in my case, for this one, of course we can always change this and, and I would encourage you to edit it and make it your own, but I'm gonna say create a, let's do 2,500 word blog post um, using this text written in the voice, oh, voice of handsome web design business coach Josh Hall and SEO optimized for website content collection. And then we are going to paste everything we just copied from YouTube. So again, it's not formatted, not styled nicely, but with this prompt here, let's see what this kicks out. So I'm gonna let this go. You can see how fast this is going. So this may just take a couple minutes on my end. So I'm gonna pause it here and then we'll take a look at what ChatGPT kicks out for us. All right, pretty dang good. Again, I am not encouraging you to, like you notice, I did not say, hey, ChatGPT, create a blog post about content collection. It's just gonna scrape everyone else's content and try to hodgepodge it together. You'll probably get a lot of my resources in there. I want you to be original but I prompted it with my written words from a transcript, which kicked this out, which is pretty dang good. I'll zoom out here so we can see the structure of this. Gave us a title, we could make our own, little introduction, tip number one. As you see here, it is pulling from the details of this video, but I actually did not prompt it that great, like the tips are here. Automatically, ChatGPT is finding these tips along with some sub points. That's pretty darn good. Yep, some good sub points, and we can add our own hierarchy here, and then it gives us kind of a conclusion, kind of a wrap-up outline, which is really good, kind of an overview, which you could actually take for an introduction as well for SEO purposes. So this is pretty darn good. Now, I actually formatted this differently originally right here. This was my original prompt. My prompt was really simple at the start. Just write a 25-word blog post based off of this text. So this is a good way to go about it too. Same text, and you'll see this one just formatted it a little bit differently. I actually like the original formatting better, so that just goes to show you sometimes quick and concise prompts for ChatGPT can, can almost work out better. But there were some things I liked about this other one too, particularly the recap section here. This is the new one here. So this is exactly how to do it. Now I could copy and paste this and format it myself into a blog post. If you're like me and you're a WordPress user, although this could apply to other platforms as well, 
I'm going to go a step further and ask this to format this for me. So I don't need to go in and make things in H1 and an H2 and have to have any, cause, cause you'll notice if I go down here and copy this. If I go into a WordPress site on the visual side and paste this in there, I'm going to have to do a lot of formatting myself and often it'll pull in some, some funky stuff, not too bad, but I'm going to go one step further and you can as well to help save yourself some time and say, can you format this in HTML or actually we'll just say, can we format this so I can copy and paste to a WordPress post. And we're actually going to make sure we ask it to format this answer. So I just put it there. Can you format this answer in HTML so I can copy and paste into a WordPress post? And you see here, this is what it kicked out for us. So now with that all complete, we're going to copy the code. We'll head over to the WordPress post. I've already got the title in there. Of course, you'll put the URL slug in there. And we're going to paste this on the text side because that's all the HTML. Now, in this case, we can take out the title and all of this extra HTML. We don't need any of that. And we we'll want to make sure we remove the extra HTML at the bottom. Again, this is more intricate and a little more advanced, but this is just if you really want to save time with formatting, here's how to go about it. And there we go. We've got a completed, almost completed SEO optimized page for collecting content, in my case, for web designers. And of course, I'm going to recommend that you make it your own. But pretty quickly, you can see how fast you could do this. And if we preview this, obviously, I've got to add an image and do some other things, but it's formatted pretty darn well based off the styling that you have for your website. And of course, you could go in here and I could go in and I could give these sub points. I could bullet list these, anything I would want to do for formatting, anything like that. I'd probably go in and do this. But that, my friends, is exactly how you can take a YouTube video or a video you have stored anywhere, take the transcript, in my case, YouTube subtitles, take the, the raw captions that you have, throw it in ChatGPT to make your own blog post. Gives you a really good outline, a great starting point, and then you can make it your own. And again, just like you saw, if you want to go one step further, prompt ChatGPT to make you an HTML version that way you could just copy and paste with everything formatted and just kind of go from there. That's exactly what my student Sam did. So I want to show you this quick video he posted in my community, Web Designer Pro. It's just a couple minutes long about how he took this exact method and got a page of his and a video of his to rank super fast. Check this out. All right, check it out, pros. I was listening to the Q&A replay on a run and I got to the point where Josh recommended using the transcript for a YouTube video to try to rank for your blog post. And so I had this video that I literally launched this morning and I thought, huh, I'm gonna try this strategy. So I literally went to SEMrush last night. You can see me searching for it here, Squarespace SEO, use the keyword magic tool and try to figure out what keywords could I potentially rank for? I looked at volumes, I saw Squarespace SEO checklist. The KD is 35, okay? That's pretty high when you watch most videos on YouTube and I said, eh, I'm probably not gonna rank for it. I literally did this. I wrote, create a thorough blog post, and I can't spell that right apparently, based on the YouTube transcript below, write it in the voice of Sam, the owner then can't designs. The article should be keyword optimized for Squarespace SEO checklist and Squarespace SEO expert. So there I am pasting in the transcript. And then at the end, it gives me this blog post right here. Uh, I said, uh, please create a brief section titled TLDR that summarizes the article in less than 100 words. Also create an FAQ. Don't reprint the article. It gave me that. Then I said, uh, okay, now you can print everything else so I could copy and paste it into WordPress. I took about five to 10 minutes to make sure that the top of the article was the H1. Uh, the rest of the stuff was H2s, H3s, just appropriate hierarchical content. Here's what it looks like on the back end. Actually, when I first launched the page, it didn't even have the YouTube video because the YouTube video wasn't live yet. And so you can see we got H1 here, obviously H2s. Uh, and then H3s and all that good stuff, right? Looks like this, because I already had a blog template pulled out. You can see this nice uh, hierarchical content right here. And, you know, I just went about my night and I said, we'll see what happens. All right, now for some reason, I'm getting the infinite scroll, which will make this easier. So uh, if you scroll down just a little bit uh, around the range of 30 to 32, boom, the page is already ranking. And so
that's kind of what Josh said. And I said, that's pretty cool. But check this out because it might even be more exciting. If we scroll back up to the top, you got Squarespace, you got this amazing blog post by Tiffany Davidson, ClickMinded, Reddit, of course. Uh, wait, what's that number two video right there on YouTube? Josh Hall, you are a genius and a madman. Love it. So there you go. The actual results do not lie. Now, sometimes with a new video or a new blog post, things are going to fluctuate and vary depending on where they're ranking, but I would encourage you to try this out again. I'm not encouraging you to tell GPT to write content for you. I am encouraging you to take particularly video content that you've already created in your voice and your actual words and help write blog posts that are meaty, SEO optimized, and that can be repurposed and help you grow your business with something like ChatGPT to help save you so much time. So I hope this helps. If you try it out, comment below. I would love to hear how this helps you out. And I'd love to see some of your examples. So post them below and uh, can't wait to hear from you. See you on the next video.